After the terror attacks, President Hollande said ISIL had committed an act of war and the French response would be merciless. Now France is striking back in what's described as the biggest air raid in Syria by France. Warplanes have struck Raqqa, regarded as ISIL's capital city. At a briefing, the defense minister has labeled ISIL a terrorist army and says the battle against it must be relentless everywhere. CCTV's Jack Barton is in Paris with the latest on the investigation of the attacks. France's interior minister now says he believes the attacks were planned in Belgium and carried out with the help of accomplices here in France. Uh, the announcement came as a major manhunt got underway here in France for a 26-year-old Belgian national named Abdel Salam Saleh. A picture of him was released by police who warned the public that he is extremely dangerous. Uh, that manhunt came after a vehicle was found in the early hours of Sunday morning. A vehicle police had been seeking. They believed it was involved in the attacks. Uh, when they smashed the windows to look inside, they found a large number of weapons, including Kalashnikov assault rifles. And it became clear that at least one of the gunmen had escaped unharmed. But what we're hearing is that uh, Abdel Salam Saleh is one of three brothers, all linked to these attacks. We've also held, heard from Belgians, uh, Belgium's interior minister saying that two of the French nationals, suspected gunmen who were killed during the attacks, had also lived in Belgium for some time. Uh, the interior ministers of both countries meeting today to share intelligence, to talk about uh, more security along the border between France and Belgium, talking about all the measures on the table any way they can to disrupt what is now clearly a powerful radical network. Jack Barton, CCTV, Paris.